Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Rishi Panchal and in this video, we are going to learn Smudge tool in Adobe Photoshop. The Smudge tool makes the blending of colors very similar to that of how we mix color with our paintbrush to produce different color combination. The Smudge tool is used for various different purposes like retouching photos, producing artistic color patterns and effects and so on. So friends, you can find a smudge tool in a toolbar over here. Okay, in the same category, you can see a blur tool, sharpen tool. Okay, so I'm just selecting a smudge tool. So friends, before starting the smudge tool, I am going to create one document. Okay, so that I can show you how the smudge tool is work. So I'm just uh, selecting this part as a this color. fine and uh, making another part this one as a no. this color fine so right now i have two different color now we are going to use merge tool on this document so first of all i am selecting this merge tool okay just increasing the brush size after this example we are going to see all these options in a smudge tool fine so first of all i am going to show you how the smudge tool is working so once i am try to applying the smudge tool see so friends as you can see it can be easily understand that using the smudge tool produce an effect like a mixing the colors with the helping of a wet paint brush in a real life okay as you can see it will just mixing the color so friends this is a basic example to show you how you can use a smudge tool okay to mix a two different color or a many other colors fine now one by one we are going to see all these options okay of the smudge tool so first of all we are going to create one more document fine so i have this image i am just uh, drag and drop our football layer to here so now we are going to adjust this football with the grass using a smudge tool okay so before that uh, i'm just selecting the smudge tool okay first of all we are going to see first option which is the brush size okay from here you can set the brush size the hardness of the brush fine as you can see a different different brush style you can select from here according to your requirement fine uh and the next option is a mode here you can see a different different mode like a uh, normal darken lighten hue saturations color luminosity like that okay by default our mode will be the normal now the next and most important option is a strength okay so strength gives the value of the blending and a smudge effect if the value of the strength is more then the smudge effect is also more and if the value of the strength is less then the smudging effect is also less fine so here you can adjust your strength fine so next we are going to see the sample all like sample all if you checked and unchecked from here so when this option is checked the smudge tool sample all the layers and treat them as a single layer for example if the layer is checked then if you have the multiple layer in this layer panel then it will be treat them as a single layer fine now next is a finger pointing now what is this this option is like when we have to take a paint of any color in one finger and we are smudging our fingers in a wet canvas okay this is an example like so now when we enable this finger painting we smudge with a current foreground color on each stroke okay so for now we are not using this i am just uncheck this okay now friends if you are using a graphic tablet then you can see one more option over here which is pen pressure okay so what is this pen pressure this option is only useful or can be seen when you are using a graphic tablet 
if this option is enabled then the brush will set the pressure according to the pressure apply in your graphics pen fine so first of all we are just selecting this layer we are using smudge tool and i'm just decreasing the strength a little bit of 50 percent and decrease the size of the brush to like this because we are going to work on a grass okay and uh, selecting this hard brush okay it's fine and i'm just merging this two layer first now see the result so according to a requirement you can just adjust your strength and brush size okay see from here you can just increase and decrease the strength see the result okay uh, so i'm just uh, drag and drop again this football layer to show you the result so this is the original one this is our after applying the smudge tool so you have to work on it okay try to make it perfect for just to demonstrate i will do it quickly so that you know the result okay if you increase the strength of this then you can see the result now so it's just need to practice the more the practice the more perfect result you will get okay see this is the original one this is after applying a smudge tool so friends like this you can use a smudge tool in a very different way you can use for a digital painting you can use to create any background okay like this we are creating this okay you can use a multiple color to create a abstract background so friends that's all about a smudge tool in adobe photoshop smudge tool is also very useful and very favorite tool of a digital artist they use it to create some very wonderful backgrounds with this tool so friends that's all about this tool if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the notification see you in the next video thank you so much guys